It was. I Honestly, one of my favorite live eyes. It's just one of those things that, you know, the, the story just writes itself in such a story that we have here at the Marine Mammal Rescue. Uh, Sean, we have Corky in behind right now that's getting fed right now. Tell us a little bit about the story of Corky's rescue. I know it's been in the news, and in just a couple of minutes, we're going to find out about uh, the prognosis as well. Yeah, so we originally received calls uh, early last week from a couple of groups in Tofino Coast Guard and um, one of the research groups there, um, and said that people had seen an otter that looked really bloated and just looked kind of weird in the water, and nobody was really sure what was wrong with him. So um, we went out to Tofino and we had a look for him. Couldn't find him the first day. So we went back again the second day um, and we actually were able to find him. With and the we've got footage history. now that we can see. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so yep. tell us more. Um, okay, so yeah, so we went out on the Department of Fisheries boat and we were able to find him and, uh, and bring him back to our rescue center. And um, the whole time that we were in Tofino was really cool because people saw us and saw our red shirts and where we were from and, um, and commented, oh, you must be here to help this otter. So it was really cool to be able to help him out. That is incredible. So I'll get you to step out, Sean. We're going to get Dr. Marty to come in right now. And we're seeing Corky. He looks awesome. I know that Sean was saying he was bloated and didn't look so great. He's looking pretty good right now. Can you tell us a little bit about um, what you've had to do to sort of get Corky to this point? Well, I'll mostly provide groceries. What we found out right away from a radiograph and some blood work was that he had a broken rib that had punctured through the thorax, releasing a bunch of, of gas out of the lung. So as that's resolving, that gas has moved under his skin. That's called subcutaneous emphysema, and it's kind of the, the healing process. So he's done a lot of it himself. If he was a terrestrial animal, it wouldn't be a problem, but since he's a diving animal, corking up, we need to feed him. That's the big thing. Okay, so when can we expect release? Things are moving very well. Everything's going the right direction. I'm hoping a few weeks from now. Oh my goodness. Well, all thanks to the great work, of course, they do here at the Vancouver Aquarium's Marine Mammal Rescue. They always need donations. Otters are particularly expensive <laughs> to rehabilitate, right? Um, you can go to the website on your screen, vanaqua.org slash MMR, uh, Russ. Uh, those people do amazing work, Dawn. Look at Corky. Looking pretty comfortable there. Enjoy the little fountain time. Oh. 7.51 in that entire commercial break, I was wondering what musical drop would we have coming back from break? Because when it's feeding time at the Animal Rescue Center, you play Hungry Like a Wolf, even though you're feeding what, Don? <laughs> Exactly. You know, Hungry Like the Wolf, or maybe Duran Duran could do another version, Hungry Like the Seal Pups or something like that. Why not, right? I think we could probably suggest to them. And we have little friends here, Emily, that uh, they're hungry, but guess what? My, my, my shoes aren't going to really satisfy them, I don't think. No, no. Not quite fatty enough, I don't think. So yeah. how does it work here at the Marine Mammal Rescue? How do you come to get these um, marine mammals? We actually uh, rely pretty heavily on members of the public from all over coastal BC. And uh, yeah, if they see a marine mammal that they feel might need our assistance then uh, we encourage them to uh, just quietly observe them and give us a call and that's generally what they do. And so now we're in what area? Um, this is called the out of quarantine area. So the seal pups that you're looking at right now, um, they're off of our initial uh, milk replacer formula that we feed them and these guys are all eating uh, fish on their own now. So what we've done is we uh, put them all into, uh, pair them and then we put them in sort of five, six seals at a time and uh, we ask them to compete for food. So what Rachel is doing right now is she's throwing in um, the entire ration and then basically they have to compete with each other to uh, to get their meal. And we've got Rachel here and it looks like we've got Cassandra and they are who? These are our practicum students so every year we have a couple of waves of practicum students uh, and uh, this year they're all UBC students so they work a 40-hour work week for us and uh, yeah and they work hard. And you have lots of volunteers because you have lots of mammals here. Yes yeah we have 108 seal pups on site and then Corky uh, our sea otter and and um, we're very much volunteer driven. So we have 209 uh, volunteers that uh, come out faithfully every week and, and help us out, help us feed these guys. Now, of course, they're sitting under the water. Of course, there we go. Um, I mentioned before the break that we have Christine Sinclair here. We actually also have Cassie Campbell. We have, and we're, of course, talking about the names. How does this work with the naming of the uh, seals? Well, every year we have a naming theme. It just helps us keep track of them because we assign them a number as well, but it's, uh, the name is what really helps us keep track of them. So this year it's athletes. So yeah, we have uh, some local athletes, we have some white calves, we have David Osted named, we have Kekuda Mana, we have Gordy Howes in this pool. And they actually, um, a lot of the athletes have come to visit. A couple of them actually, yeah, we've yeah. had a couple of white calves come out, David Osted and Kekuda Mana came out to see their namesakes. What about Trevor Linden, because I know you have Trevor Linden here too. Trevor Linden's here, we haven't seen Trevor yet though. <gasps> Trevor, come on out to We're the Marine for Mammal <laughs> Rescue Center. By the way, uh, with of course the support of the Vancouver Aquarium, they 
always need your help and they need volunteers. They have recruitment. For more details, check out their website and their Facebook page as well for the some of the athlete visits and you can always donate. We've got lots more coming up here at the Marine Mammal Rescue and Russ has weather coming up. Will this guy get to still sunbathe? I don't know. Russ will have those details coming up next. Stay with us. You're watching BT. Yes, this is Trevor Linden, and of course we're here with Dr. <laughs> Dr. Marty here at the Marine <gasps> Mammal Rescue. Um, tell us a little bit about how Trevor came to be here. Well, Trevor's very typical <laughs> for uh, a lot of our seals. Comes from a, a place with a lot of people, English Bay for Trevor Linden <laughs> in particular. So lots of crowding, something happened to separate him from his mom. That's very typical. Um, and likely just a large number of people in a poor spot for this, this little guy to be born. And we should point out that his name is Trevor Linden because the theme this year. The theme is uh, famous <laughs> sports figures. And uh, for some reason, my name wasn't chosen. Uh, but, uh, but Trevor, for, for sure, is very local and very famous. So English Bay, now, in the process of, uh, of being separated from mom, they do get all sorts of secondary problems. Certainly malnutrition is a big one. Um, this guy, for example, is suffering from a, a kind of a nasty eye infection. He's got a corneal infection, a keratitis. So we're just going to try and give him a few drops here and see if we can get that under control for him while we get him through. And when people are looking to donate, this is really what they're helping to support the care and the rescue and the rehabilitation. Absolutely. This is uh, a big part of our uh, Vancouver Aquarium program. Um, Marine Mammal Rescue Center is, a, is an expensive operation. We've got over 100 animals on site right now. You've seen Corky, a famous one, but most of them are these harbor seals, all of them suffering from a number of different things, and all hopefully going to be released back to the wild. Now, if anyone sees a marine mammal that they believe is in distress, what should they do? Number one, give us a call, okay. and that's 604-258-SEAL, or 7325, and we'll talk you through um, what's happening. Hopefully it's just a seal being uh, normal and just waiting for its mom to come back. And the last thing we want to do is interfere with mom and pup. And if there is a problem, we'll figure it out with you, and then we'll figure out the best way to get it. Well, get and the how here. people can help is they can donate. Marine Mammal Rescue, you can find out their link on the Van Aqua Org, of course, uh, Van Aqua website, which of course is Van Aqua Org. And of course, they're always looking for volunteers. You can find out more about their recruitment process on their website.